Yo guys, guys, it's back for some heads up hyper action. Let's crush this fool. Let's do it. Germany's the boss around here, man. Germany versus France one more time. Let's make it happen. Are we calling here on the flop? Turn should go check check, you love time if he bets it, I think we are just going to really let it go. I'm gonna be limping a lot here, so stick 3 off, why not, Let's see a flop, he champs it, okay. The champs the worst race. I mean he will definitely race wide here, so just take down pre, gonna limp these twos. 4 to cham, if he raises we cham ourselves. Now he should feel like really, really confident with an 8 and a 7. So when we see that, I think he will raise something like that a decent amount of time. Usually people expect you to raise an ace. So we are definitely betting here. We we'll protect our hand and we definitely get away from 8, 7, some flush draws. He might bluff at us here. Since we don't represent too many aces. And I think that the mistake that a lot of people do is if you raise us here to like sides in like 54 that they jam. But you rather want to just call it and like induce more action on Furcher Street. Future Streets, Furcher, I don't know what that was. I will call one here with the gut shot and an overcard. If he bets 40 again here, then he does the same platform like last time. And now we just bet half pot for value on the river without trips. Take down again. I like where this is going so far. It's time to bink one of these again, man. Make some moolah. We lost some money in the spin and go street, so it would be good to. Win some here. Gonna be betting the turn here as well. Then we checking the river. Alright, I don't think he will call the river too often there. And we will race, get it in here with the checks. We could just jam. It's a pretty nice flop. Gonna bet like 40 here. Gonna be 60, bet 60 on the turn here. And gonna be all in on the river. Let's hope he doesn't have Queen 9 or 9 7. I right, take it down here. Big chip lead now. Now it's the push and fold game. What is he going to do? I'm with the Queen 5 here. I think that these heads are pipes, but I really enjoy playing them. They're so interesting to me, and people are making so many mistakes. From my experience here. So I'm gonna be opening this one. Checking the flop here. It's a pretty good board for us. I will call this bad. I think we other even call a second barrel here. Oh, Queen High can just be easy good. We check call in the river here as well. Alright, lose the King High. As the plants go up. Gonna be just open trying to check 7. Alright, we have 42% guys. We just need to fade an ace. Or 10 or 5 for the top, and we do so. We win the first one. Let's hope he's down for another one. Come on, accept it. Nice. That's what I like to see, guys. Let's ship it again. 30 euro profit so far. I'm down to play some more. I'm definitely down to play some more. Alright, the pocket fives here. Where's the limb? I will actually just check. Let me check all the flop. He's the type of guy that shouldn't have many aces now, even though he has a decent amount of checks. We're just calling him here on the flop. Queen is a pretty bad turn. Another overcard to our hand. But he checks the check now. I think we want to call the river here if he bets small. Alright, that's nice. Let's see what he limped there. 8 7 suited. Okay. Oh, this song, song sounds pretty bad. I'll skip it. Just wanna have some chill music in the background, guys. Nothing of that crazy dubstep shit. <laughs> Defending 6 8. That is a pretty good flop. Gonna be check raising it though. It's a. It's not a invulnerable hand anymore. It's a bad out small here on the turn. And hopefully he has a 9 here. I think we'll bet small again. I mean, I like, keep a jam and 9 here. And. I don't think he will bluff much on the river there. So we up to 600 here, not a bad start. 
A7. I will try something new. I used to... Ah, I'm not sure, man. I used to jam every time and I thought, like, I'm currently experimenting a little bit with playing there. But jam jamming is so easy and it's so profitable that I'm not sure, man, if I want to, like, try the defending strategy in this spot for, like, 18 big blinds. Definitely worth looking into, I guess. Let's check it here with the three deuce. Once again, I don't expect enough to many aces. He raises them usually. Um, so yeah, when he see bets, we just call. I also want to call the turn here, kind of. Yeah, I will call. It's not a good river. Alright, he limped an a6. Good to know. Go limp in the a7 here. We have the ace. We'll check the flop here. And do some action here on the turn. Might even raise the river here for value, to be honest. Right, we're definitely putting out a bet here. 40, get the call from the 9, a 6, or a 4. Just folds it once more. With the 3 duels, like maybe folding turn is better. Because even the like, club door has decent equity versus. He limps it here, it's a pretty dry flop. I think I will raise him here for the first time on the flop. Even though just calling can be fine with 2 over cards, a queen high could be the best hand. If it ends up calling, 10 is a nice card to bear against, that's what I'm going to do. Bet 55 here. I'm gonna make a straight on the river, I mean that is a pretty speed run out. I'm gonna bet small again and hope to get called. If he champs it, we will have to call if we made the backdoor spades, good for him. But he just takes it down, and I think you know we can triple bear a decent amount. Gonna be open time 15 here. Limp calling can be fine as well, but it's not that great. We wanna open jam that one for sure. Just take the play away. And take, like, you know, we get hands to fold that we are basically flipping with. If you limp call, he just, he jams king, like, king six. Sometimes. Alright, now he's down to ten big blinds. Easy push and fold game now. Which I feel pretty confident in. I mean, it's pretty simple after you play it a lot, while, long time and use ICMIs a decent amount. Um, you definitely get the hang of it. He's tanking. Alright, interesting. Trying to stream snipe. <laughs> That's a standard call, like a snap call. He was pretty slow warning us. I don't know, man. We win. Oh my god. I was like, we win the flip, though. Not until the river, man. <sighs> Wait for the river. God damn it. Fives will be a call here in the jam. I know why he's timing out. Like, if he, was, if he was timing out here, I would race. You know, abuse him. I would not wait for him. I'm not that good mannered, guys. And I think if you were timeout, you would do the same thing here. Kind of sucks, obviously. I want to have like a good match rather than this. At least he's disconnected, got some extra time. But yeah, we would still abuse him and not tank and wait for him to come back. That is not my attitude. I usually handle it that way. I just abuse the people. And yeah, I think that is fine. Alright, I think I would take out a little cut in here to at least reconnect it. We go, he's back, guys. Goes for the limp. We jam ourselves. So probably he wasn't lowering there with the nines and some connection issues. But he's back now, which is nice. Then we don't have to do this like dirty plant him down thing. Check seven here. It's not a call, but I would love to see a flop. I mean, with the limp, I would even jam. Since he has so many limp falls in his range, like way more than the actual traps he has. Oh, this is actually maybe not sure. Queen three suited. I mean, this is a close one there. Definitely trying the ace 3 suited. I mean, we're almost back to even after losing the flip there on the river 2 order. Can't be limp folding the queen 2s now that we have more chips. It's not a jam anymore. We'll be checking the flop here. There's a decent amount of good turns for us. We will be calling on this turn. And actually checking. Yeah, just random step on the ace. Like He, he gets the fish tag now. He shouldn't take a step down the ace. It's my, it hits my, it hits my range just way harder than his. Connie with the six deuce. Sweet turn. Gonna be calling again. And we have a tough spot here if he bets the river again. Ah, that's such a sick run out, man. We're chopping it there super often. It really sucks to to actually like be out kicked there on the three river. Jam this, but we're almost back to break even. 
We just get a lot of champs through. Gonna be limp falling this one for 15. I will definitely be trapping here soon in the future. It's the first time they raised it to 3x, which is like well, the reason I snap folded it. Right? I think he's pretty strong when he does that and opposes an opposite to jamming. Alright, nice flop here. You just call. He likes to bet the turn again. Um, if he has a better 9, we will just go broke here. I think we will bet here on the river. 70, hope to get a call from the 6 to 2 and the 3. God, but we're in the chip lead now. Can we open champ this for 12 big blinds? I mean, I think our push forward game is much stronger than his. Let's see floppy with the 5-7. It's a pretty good flop. We are going to check champ this one. With the open manner. And take it on. He shouldn't just have many aces, right? The champs and pre. Jam this one, and we're flanking him down really nicely here. Let's hold it. God, he wins two flips. Come on, ace. Spade. Yes! He doesn't win two flips. Decline. We get declined, but we have 60 euros on him. I will decline as well. There we are for another match. And there we are for the last match. We up 6 euros so far, man. These heads of hypers have been really good, man. I'll be saving my sessions when I record the spin, uh, spin sessions. So, yeah, I can't complain, can't complain. Let's win this one for a 90 euro profit on these 15 minutes. It's so sick, man. Poker is just so sick. I'm so happy I found that one. He goes for the tank first hand. I mean, if he's just timing out, I hope not, man. I want to present you guys a match and all something like that. But once again, I would be all right. He just, he just needed some time to decide whether to race or do something else. Pretty good start in the heads up match, getting two seven off first hand. Gonna be calling this. Pretty nice flop. We're gonna be just calling. There's no point in re-raising here because we have to do this. Checks the turn. I think I'm gonna fire out small here. Check 10 years. Okay. Too bad we didn't get the heart. I'll be short. We could have checked the turn there, obviously. I just felt like a lot of people are not betting a 10 there on the flop. So we can just protect our hand a little bit. Even if we don't need to protect it really, so maybe the bet is really bad. Hmm. We jam it here. Man, he likes to use the time bank. Alright, he folds, he folds. 76 usually we are limping. If we raise it here to 57, I think I actually limp jam this. Okay, okay. We have a gut shot, so back to hearts. The sand is really nice to see bet. But we are raising a few leads here. A lot of people are just lead bluffing there, and we will bet again on the turn here. I jam the river to push him off everything that's not a queen, and if he has a queen, we have a decent amount of outs still. I got a call here, 52. Draw for the heart or the five. Yep, there's the heart. It's pretty nice. Queen deuce. Sucks for him, obviously. But he made it so small in the turn that we had to call. Kind of unfortunate for him there. <laughs> it's good to know though that he leads that one. I'll fold the six twos off. To the min race. Ace 10 suited, I've actually put in my trapping range. Otherwise, I don't trap enough, so I gotta put in like ace 8 suited and ace 10 suited, which I do more now. I think that is really, really strong. I'm in an MTT, I would just open champ a spot like this, but you know, in these heads up, hypers is different. We don't have too many hands that we are trapping with, right? So it's we need to put in some weaker hands that we usually don't put in there. This looks pretty strong to me, but we are going to champ. I think it's just way too good heads up for 12 big blinds to ever fold. If there's not something like ICM here, but we're talking about a heads up hyper, so ICM isn't really a thing. <laughs> because winner takes it all. I would be sick to chop these. <laughs> Wanna discuss the deal, sir? <laughs> Alright, gonna be folding the 4-6. It's pretty sick that he raised us there and then folded to a jam. Queen 4, we limp fold. It's not good enough to open jam. Queen 4 suited, we could open jam. So he lead, he led last. by leads TP OP. I mean, you can't, you can only. Yep, 
we should give to him. Just made in a quick note down him with the lead there, with the Queen Deuce lead, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> um, check 9 here, can't really call if he limps with a jam. He min raises. I mean, we jam away it. Let's see if we have fold equity. Because he seems really weak with the, the things he does. Wow, alright, he's an absolute fish. Let's fade a 3. Nice, that's another win, guys. Thank you for hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We are 90 euros, did not only win one, but we also won two. And the third one, man. We shipped three in a row, 90 euro profit. That's how I like it. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Be sure to check out the video down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I see you on the tables. Good luck.